It's Friday again, and we've been preparing all month long for Thanksgiving. And I realized we haven't done a dessert. And so today we're going to do a dessert. This is Minister Sheila's favorite, so she'll probably head over here as soon as she sees this video today. But today we're gonna make Lemon Lush. And the recipe is right above this video, so you'll be able to do it. So right now I have my butter, one stick of butter, it's melting in the pan, getting prepared for this dish. And Lemon Lush is a really, uh, really nice dessert. It's better if you make it the night before you serve it and let it freeze a little bit and get ice crystals on it and then thaw it out and put the whipped cream on. Whew, it's really good. So our butter is getting ready. So the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna turn our oven on 375 because this is not a long recipe, but you want your oven to be ready because you have to make your crust first from scratch. So let's do it. Our butter is almost ready. All right, so our butter has melted nicely. So we're gonna take one cup of flour and we're going to pour our butter Right in there. You see that? And we're also going to add our pecan. Now, depending on how you purchase your pecans, you literally, they tell you literally on the bag. So this bag is a half a cup. That's all I need. So I'm gonna pour the entire bag in there. And look. That's our crust. Just like that. Flour, butter. The pecans are just uh, for taste. You can have uh, crust without them, but they're really nice in there. So I'm gonna get my spatula. This is actually my grandson's spatula. Little chef there. All right, and you'll have to take your crust off your whisker. This is a whisker. Take your crust off your whisker. All right. So we're gonna go over to our pan. And I like using glass utensils so you can see what I'm doing and how it's being made. So look at that. I'm just gonna put the crust And it's gonna stick quite a bit, so wash, make sure your hands are clean, because there are some time points where you're gonna to have to do what I'm doing right now. Just kind of smooth it out in the pan, but this is literally the crust now for our Lemon Lush. See there? And just slide it down nicely, because you wanna fill the bottom of this pan. So you just slide it around. And take what's left. Bring that out as well. And you're gonna do the same thing. And sometimes I use my hand a little easier to spread, but see there? You just pat it down really nicely. You'll get it in the whole pan. So this is going to form the crust for your Lemon Lush. It is going to be exciting. Don't worry if you have a few little cracks in it like that, because it's gonna bake so nicely and form a beautiful crust. Don't worry if it feels like it's not gonna fill up the whole pan, it will. Almost like doing a cooking puzzle. See there? Look at that. Some of you didn't think it was gonna make it all the way around, did you? There we go. 
So what we've just created is the crust for our lemon lush. You see that? We're gonna put that in the oven on 375 for 15 minutes. All right. And we'll set the timer. All right, now while your crust is baking, you wanna move on to the next step. And that is we're going to take a cup. And these little, these, let me tell you, these mixing bowls are absolutely wonderful. You can get bowls like it and uh, they're really nice for mixing things. All right, so we're gonna get a cup of confectioner's sugar. There's your confectioner's sugar. This is a two cup cup, measuring cup, so I'm only going to fill it halfway. Oops, let's see. Okay, we're just a little bit above two, so we wanna pour a little bit of it back off. There we go. For our best results, follow directions. All right, so we're gonna put that. Wanna take one eight ounce packet Philadelphia cream cheese. Time for those kitchen scissors. You always have to have a pair of scissors that are just for the kitchen. So I'm gonna cut this open. Squeeze that right on in there. See that? Squeeze it right on in there. Then you're gonna take your whip topping. You all remember Ready Whip? is still around. So you're gonna take a cup of Ready Whip. So get your measuring cup again, shake it some. And you're gonna do a cup of the Ready Whip. So you have your confectioner's sugar, your cream cheese, and now your Ready Whip. Get it all. It's all needed. And now we're just going to stir this. I'm going to make a beautiful paste. Try not to let your confectioner's sugar jump out. Then you're gonna need, of course, your spatula because these ingredients in this dessert tend to stick to your whisker. So if you tap it gently, most of them will fall right off. But if not, go back to your good old spatula. I remember making this years ago. I haven't made it in a little while, but I got a request for this. So then you're gonna stir and you get a nice little paste. Can you see that? There's the paste that I need that's going to go right on top of the crust. So we'll set that to the side. And now we're going to mix our instant lemon pudding mix. I have here three boxes of instant lemon pudding mix. 
and I'm going to pour them in. Oh, not all of them. One. Two. And three. Our crust is still getting ready. So there you have your pudding mix. And I'm going to put three cups of cold milk in there. And I drink almond milk. So we're gonna put this in, but we're gonna wait until our crust comes out the oven because we don't want this to thicken before we're ready to use it. Our crust has been in for 15 minutes at 375. And listen, if your crust is not done, let it stay in a little longer. I like cooking with glass because I can take a peek right at the bottom and see that my crust looks good and it smells good too. So there's my crust. So what I'm gonna do is let the crust sit for just a few minutes to cool off because then we're gonna take our beautiful concoction here of confectioner's sugar. And we're gonna put that on top. So let's let this cool for a minute. Now, our crust is nice and warm. So what we're gonna do is take that concoction that we put together, the confectioner's sugar and all, and we're just gonna Lay it around on your crust. Be gentle with it because you don't want your crust to move. Almost like doing a painting. Cooking is so much fun. See there in the corner how the crust came up for me? So you wanna be careful that you're very gentle with this mixture so that it does not move your crust. Go across it very softly because it will pull your crust right up. See there, very softly. This is why spatulas are so necessary. See there, you wanna cover your entire mixture. Cover that. This is in real time, so you can see how this recipe doesn't take long at all. All right, so that's that. Now, those three packs of pudding, instant pudding, I've put them in a nice clear bowl so you can see what's gonna happen with those. We're gonna add to this three cups of milk. So it's literally a cup of milk for each pack of lemon pudding mix. That was two cups I just added, so I'm gonna to need to add one more. And I'm going to begin to stir. Now the thing about this, you don't wanna get this ready until you finish this step because your pudding will begin to uh, thicken up on you and you don't want it to get real thick. You wanna stir it nicely. the way, while I'm staring this, I want to thank Rosalind Cromwell Jones for my new apron. Isn't this pretty? So Rosalind Cromwell Jones sent this to me as a gift. And I just want to say thank you. I just thought that was such a sweet thing to do. Who knows? Maybe I'll start a line of aprons. So see there, it's starting to get thick. Isn't that pretty? It's starting, to th it's starting rather to thicken up. So what you wanna do is just pour it. So 
And you might get your wonderful spatula. Just begin to clear your bowl out. See, it's starting to get thick already. You know, make these right for left-handed people. Let's see if I flip it. There we go. I'm a lefty. All right. So as you can see, our pudding mix had no problem filling this out. So now, what's really uh, awesome about this recipe, when you put it in, we're going to put it in the freezer overnight because you want this to get frozen. And then when you take it out tomorrow, you're going to let it thaw out just a little bit and then you cut it in squares and you eat it. Now to top this off, here's the last thing you do. You're now gonna take your ready whip again, okay, or whatever kind of uh, whip you get. And you're just gonna make rows. Let's start over here so you can see. Row, a row. A row, a row. See that? All right. And so after your rows, you're going to take uh, your other pecans. So you'll need two bags of these. And you just sprinkle them on. Okay, and then you want to cover. I'm going to cover this beauty with some aluminum foil. I'm going to place it in the freezer. Place it right in the freezer overnight. And guess what? When you take it out in the morning, you talk about something delicious. Of course, it is a dessert, so you want to eat it after your meal. All right, so now you have your turkey wings and gravy. You have your stuffing if you're putting it in the turkey, darling, and your dressing if you're not putting it in the turkey. You also have, did I show you how to do greens? I don't think I did greens, but I've given you so many things that you can use now towards your holiday meal. Well, it's all finished, and there you have a beautiful slice of Lemon Lush. Enjoy.